What's up everybody and today I am about to talk about one of the most pleasant surprises I've had in my golf experiences over the past two to three years which is Pronghorn the Nicholas course. I had gone on the internet, I had seen a lot of mixed reviews, I didn't know how the course would be. I've played a few Jack Nicholas courses, Old Greenwood and Montreux. Both were really hard and both beat me up. What I took away from Pronghorn the Nicholas course is, it's about target golf. It's about intimidation. Can you hit certain points? And I almost see Mr. Nicholas, Jack Nicholas, for those that aren't trying to be like the people that play the Memorial Tournament and say Mr. Nicholas, which you always hear on that telecast in case you didn't know what I'm getting at there. You can see how he loves using bunkers to mess with a golfer's mindset. There's tons of distractions and bunkers at times in places that I would not even think would enter into your mind to hit the ball there, but he's looking at how can he put traps on this course to make you feel uncomfortable. I found this course to be the crowning achievement of the Jack Nicholas designs that I've played so far. It's a great feel of a course. It felt like I was in Montana. It's like a mountain course with a lot of desert feels to it, heavy desert feels. I was surprised how much I liked this course, and I should note that it starts out kind of like a normal course, and then it builds like a great book. So over time on the course, you actually start to understand why Pronghorn is one of America's great courses because it unveils itself. It shows this character and personality. The back nine as a whole is one of the best back nines I've played in the country. I'd put it a little behind Pasa Tiempo, but there's so many cool ideas and hole designs. Risk reward is a major theme of Pronghorn in which you can go really low or you can go really high based on your decision. It is an interesting and I think fun course, but it is a course that if you play it, don't be married to your handicap. Be married to your sense of having fun on the course because it will eat you up if you need to shoot a certain number because this course is meant to be a mental barrier. So you have to enter this course, scratch out what your handicap is, and just take it on as a challenge and you will have a ton of fun. Enter this course and say, I gotta be a six or a 10 or whatever over par, you're gonna be miserable because this course Anyone that enters with that mindset that cannot hit specific shots at specific times, this course will eat you alive. And if you allow it to be intimidating, this thing is going to look like a monster from your nightmares. The rate is expensive. It's a resort. I'm not even sure, quite sure. I just gave him my debit card and said pay, but it's an ex expensive fee. The amount of balls, I'd take about 10, you know, if you want to be on the light side. I always carry a lot of balls. But I'd say 10 because it's very wide open outside of a few holes that have water. You're basically going to find any foul balls once you get to the heart of the course. So really fun course, really enjoyable. Let's check out the vlog. First hole at Pronghorn Nicholas course. It's the typical Jack Nicholas design. You have a bunch of bunkers and you have to pick a place to hit. I took the two iron, got a little pulley but got away with it. Left myself with about 150 yards in. This is the little walking path. There you can see there's just a ton of bunkers. It's wide open, but it's a mental battle. I tried to tug it in, go right to left, and I just hit this ball straight, and Mr. Nicholas was not gonna reward a shot like that, so I ended up in that bunker, right club, wrong decision. But it hit a really studly bunker shop. I've been having bunker yips, and I was really happy to hit my bunker shot to right there. Just missed that putt, but I will take that for an opening opening bogey on a Mr. Nicholas course. Because Jack Nicholas courses, especially a course like Pronghorn, which is one of his staple courses, notoriously known for being really hard. So my expectation was to shoot about 90 here, 88. So really to start with that, this was just a really bad swing. Hit a foul ball couldn't find my ball had to drop right around the line of where it was actually got really nervous I hit a house even though I never heard anything because these houses are expensive so that was pretty bad but then I hit this three wood as my third shot I played that as a lateral hazard hopefully it wasn't out of bounds but I'm on vacation 
put it to right here, which is this super sick bunker shot. And this is the theme of the opening holes here is you just have a bunch of bunkers. Really, really a mean position to be in. I have a bunker in front, a bunker long, and I just caught too much ball right there. It, I was just not trying to be short into those bunkers right there. And you're going to see, this is just kind of what Pronghorn, this was the start I was not looking for, but I re redeemed myself. So ended up flying it, didn't film it, but got up and down randomly. So left with a seven, which that was pretty good. Really, really rough hole that can happen here. 200 yard par three, just a bad line. Hit the shot I wanted. It, it's a uphill shot and then it all runs downhill towards the pin. I just didn't start it on the right line, put it in the bunker that's there. You have to thread that needle or fly the bunker. Couldn't fly the bunker, didn't thread the needle. This is three holes in, three bunkers. Really hit a good bunker shot from there. You're not gonna see it based on how far away I am, but that was a really, really big lip to get over. And considering I just caught all ball on that last shot, I was really trying to make sure I hit it basically not fly another green and i got two putt from there that's a bogey we'll take it so not that super hot start you're hoping for but it's okay we're playing this and what i love about pronghorn is the fourth hole in particular but a lot of these holes it feels like you're playing a water a watercolor painting like you're walking through a piece of art and i think that's a, a kind of my interpretation of what fazio does but playing this, I think that Nicholas kind of has a lot of elements of Fazio's design, but with a, a harder kind of element for the players. But that might just be my interpretation. Really, really exceptionally good sand wedge knockdown chip. There was a lot that could have gone wrong there. Just basically hit the perfect shot. And this is a really, really rewarding feeling that I didn't get mad at myself for my start and then I converted on my first birdie attempt. So that was a really, really good feeling. This hole, I hit a super sick drive. So this was a really long par four and gave myself a great opportunity. This hole is just very straightforward. There's some bunkers, there's some hazards to the right. You can play out of it obviously, but the main thing that you really, really gotta know about this hole is it's all uphill. It reminded me of a Montreux hole. I tried to take on the bunker and land this by the green, but my trajectory of my ball flight, I'd like to think I hit my irons high, but everyone started to tell me I hit them more on the low side, hit and ran over. And then this was a delicate chip. I missed maybe two, three inches in, I would have hit the fringe and gotten a really great score. And we convert for a bogey. And that just shows you how difficult pronghorn can play I hit a great drive and a great approach, but I gave myself basically a really hard up and down to get my par, and that's kind of a theme of this course. So, missed out right, you can tell by my reaction, but thank goodness, so does Mr. Nicholas. Mr. Nicholas's miss is to the right, and this course, kind of what I like is the misses, like Pasa Tiempo, you can miss right all day and be fairly okay. Stayed in play, had this three wood and I crushed this three wood. This was about 235. I really had a bad drive and it was maybe 225, 235 uphill. There's a bunch of bunkers and there's an upslope and I got that home from back there. And that is a really cool feeling. It's never a good feeling to hit three wood on a par three or par four, but when you do and you put it on the green, it is a great feeling. I actually had a good chance for a birdie but at the same time, I did not want to run this by. The greens weren't particularly fast. They were running on a 10.5 on the stint, which is not super fast, but I will take that par. Really, really cool par 3 right here. I really love the look of this par 3. Once again, mentally intimidating. Fairly ordinary driving range shot, but because of all the stuff around, can you clear your head and just hit a shot you hit at the range? Because there's... There's a lot of stuff all around. There's swells, there's bunkers. Not The bunkers aren't even in places that really come into play, but they affect your mindset. Hit a good 60 degree wedge shot right there where I just got it over that swell and left myself a long but makeable putt. 
and the putter was working on this day converted and this is some of the terrain you go to in between holes and uh this was the rare lukey uh left ball although that was more of a pull so we got that missed out left and you'll see where this one there's a bunker right there and oh i didn't I, that was the lukey cut so it started left but it actually came back right got to the top well, that's sick so this is the par five that has this beautiful creek running all down it it's got a risk reward where you go uphill and then you're trying to get over the hill so you can make it a smaller yardage and then as you go closer to the green it gets narrower and narrower while there's this beautiful creek that runs right alongside of the hole the whole time but don't pay that any attention just focus on yardages and this was another really sick wedge shot that I hit. I put that right up there. And that was a great feeling. Got some special effects there. And conversion. So two birdies on the front nine. Who the heck do I think I am? I'm supposed to be out here making bogeys and pars. And I got two birdies on a Mr. Nicholas. Really good feeling. I know, as a lot of people point out, my swing isn't like perfect, but I'm a weekend golfer. Don't advertise myself as anything less. Hit the random kind of pulley draw into this bunker, and you could see the heavens didn't appreciate as they started raining after your boy did that. Just a nine iron to get out. Really having some major anxiety about bunkers lately, so I just wanted to get over the lip, and I just caught this a little too kind of a little too delicate with that shot that was a very kind of finesse shot my wedges from about 70 yards in have been kind of trash lately and then this chip I knew that was good from the minute it came off the face and I got up and down from there thank you for watching this vlog I appreciate anyone who contributes or subscribes or even likes a video this is a passion project and I'm just trying to do the best I can.